From turbulence in the air to turmoil on the ground, there was pandemonium in the Rajya Sabha today. That's India's upper house of parliament. The chaos was over a remark made by a leader of the Congress party, India's main opposition party. Yesterday, like we told you, the union budget was presented in India and this is how the Congress lawmaker reacted. The centre is not allocating the rightful share of GST and direct taxes to South Indian states. There is a sense of injustice faced by the South Indian states. The funds collected from the southern states are being disproportionately redirected to North Indian states. If this pattern persists, we might be compelled to seek the creation of a separate nation. His name is D.K. Suresh. He is a member of parliament from Karnataka in the Lok Sabha or the lower house of parliament. And he is suggesting a breakup of India, a separate nation for the southern states of India. Why? Because he says there's fiscal injustice in the budget. That the Modi government has been unfair to the southern states and the allocation of funds and resources was not equitable. Now, D.K. Suresh is not just a, a Congress lawmaker, apart from being the Lok Sabha MP from Bangalore Rural. He also happens to be the brother of D.K. Shivakumar, who is the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, also the State Congress President. When asked to react to his brother backing a division of India, D.K. Shivakumar did what seasoned politicians do when they are cornered. Attempt a balancing act. Mr. Suresh or any other leader, H.K. Patil or any other leader, might have spoken that the pain of uh, South India. See, there should be a balance. The entire country is one. You can't only look at the Hindi belt. You have to look at the entire country. So in this budget, there is no equal distribution of financial sector. Though Karnataka has been giving a lot of revenue to the center, and the entire South India, there is no major announcement which has been done. So we all feel that we have been let down. But as a party president, the entire country is one. We are Indians. There is no question. India should be united. The Congress president, though, was more forthcoming. His name is Malikarjun Kharge. This is what he said. If anyone speaks about breaking the country, we will never tolerate it, irrespective of whichever party they belong to. Malikarjun Kharge will himself say that from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, we are one and we will be one. Well, he was trying to douse the flames. Given our painful history of partition, talk of dividing India is callous and insensitive. And with general elections fast approaching, it is political harakiri. The opposition has a serious foot-in-mouth problem and timing has never been their strong suit. In the past, their numerous personal jibes at Prime Minister Modi from Sonia Gandhi to Manishankaraya have all backfired. So the Congress President's We Are One statement was an attempt to stop the issue from snowballing. But it was already too late. Here's how the government reacted. Need to address this question of whether this country can be divided, even as a wishful thinking, Honorable by a member members, in the Lok Sabha. This is not an insignificant incident. This is divisive thinking. It is an attack on our country as well as our constitution. It is an attack on India's unity. Meanwhile, D. K. Suresh has had a change of heart. He now says he is a proud Indian. But he's not the first leader to demand a separate nation for southern states. Politicians from neighboring Tamil Nadu have expressed similar sentiments. Before we get into more politics, here's a quick geography primer. The southern part of India has five states. Karnataka, where D.K. Suresh is from, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. There are also union territories, the union territories of Puducherry and Lakshudi. Now currently the BJP is not in power in any of these five states. The BJP has traditionally dominated the Hindu heartland of India, a region closely aligned to its ideological leanings. But under Prime Minister Modi, it has made inroads in South India as well. They were in power in Karnataka until last year. Also, the North-South divide is not just political. Often it has been said, the South of the Vindhyas embrace rationality and modernity, while the North is subsumed by religious orthodoxy. But this is reductive at best. That's not to say there aren't cultural and religious differences, but India is a myriad stories of its diversity. And that has been our strength, not our weakness. Look at Rahul Gandhi, the de facto head of the Congress party. As we speak, he is on his second Bharat Jodo Yatra. Bharat Jodo meaning uniting India. He says he's on a mission to unite the country. But it seems, forget the public, he can't even convince his own party leaders. 
just before elections, talk of dividing India, a country that they want to come to power in, is not a good look. And that is putting it mildly.